good day to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. What do you know about the Catholic Church in the East uh, and about Polish priests who are there living, praying and serving the people? This is what we will find out today. With us in the studio is Erika Itozawa. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Well, obviously, you are not a priest, <laughs> but you are at the right hand of a priest who is running the uh, Church in the East supportive organization, which is run by the Polish Church, uh, uh, helping the Catholics there in the East. And most of those parishes are Polish. But uh, you, are you, you are able, as I understand, to, to help, to give people to, to function because of the the funds and helps of the Christians from all over the world who are uh, giving you financial support, yes? Yes, of course, we are getting very big support from uh, Polish church and uh, even in December there is a special day when uh, the all um, donations uh, from the church are, are actually going to our organization and uh, thanks to that donations we can work uh, and we can help the diocese in different countries because we uh, we are helping over 15 countries of former Soviet Union and of course now as the situation with war is coming we are mostly helping Ukraine but we also don't forget about other countries and uh, as we are talking about Ukraine we are sending uh, financial support for uh, all the assesses in Ukraine and we are trying to do it every few months. So this is, of course, this, a network of many parishes in the East, and uh, which are in Russia, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, uh, Georgia, Armenia, many, many places, which uh, are, were previous Soviet Union. Yes. <laughs> and right now there are uh, new par Catholic parishes and the church is reviving there and coming back to life. But as I understand, you also um, need and are looking for volunteers and people who will do the Siberian volunteering, which is an interesting way of spending, for example, summer there. Uh, how, to, um, how to participate in it? Uh, well, um, you can find uh, information about that on our website. Really big opportunities, you can, for example, visit Siberia, Kazakhstan, uh, Romania even and uh, Ukraine, of course. Now all parishes are looking for volunteers because it's summer vacation. Uh, many of parishes are organizing some uh, summer camps for children and they just need some people to help, for example, to stay with children, to amuse them. But also there is big need for people to help to build new churches in Ukraine, for example, or in uh, Siberia and Kazakhstan. Uh, nuns are building church now in uh, Kazakhstan, I guess, and uh, they were really asking us for some volunteers. So um, you, you asked from uh, the Western world or Catholics from all over the world, they can, can basically volunteer to your organization and be sent to the Siberian volunteering to some of the parishes in the Far East, to places which are hard to reach usually, and, uh, and uh, help them and give them uh, aid uh, in the parishes uh, in different places? Yes, actually job is very different. As I told, they can uh, work with children or even now in Ukraine, they're even uh, looking for people who would just help to cook for refugees. And are there any uh, conditions to be met to, in um, order to take yes, part? Yes, of course. You have to be over 18 years old. And uh, there is, a, I guess, some former time that they have to get ready for that they have some conferences they have some uh, psychological lessons uh, they're getting some knowledge about the place they're going and uh, also of course they're praying and uh, getting some uh, new knowledges about religion how many volunteers are currently in the missions do you have such kind of information oh it's hard to say uh, to be honest i'm yeah, I don't want to say the different number, but it's very hard to say now. Because there are, I guess, I guess 
a, a lot of places, a lot of people. And how long are they usually staying in the parishes? It depends on people. Some of them are going just for a few weeks or a few months, but there are also volunteers who are staying there for a couple of years now. So it becomes their, their way of li life, I would say, when you take part in that. Yes, and what interesting, we don't, uh, we also have uh, elder volunteers, which are after their retirement, and they just went to, to other country to volunteer as their, after their retirement. We also when have they, some on students. On their retirement, yeah, when, yeah. when they are in the, in the so they, they don't work anymore, they are older and they, they want to spend their life yes. somewhere there in the parish. Well, it sounds absolutely fascinating and it is an invitation also to you, the viewers of Berlin Daily, if you would like to have a, a challenge of your life, lifetime, but also a great journey, then the Siberian volunteering organized by the Church in the East supportive group. So basically, uh, you at least need to want to help the, the church, uh, the Catholic Church there in the East and the in the former Soviet Union, help some parishes, help people, then you can take part in it and spend weeks, months, or maybe years in the most crazy place in the world. And thank you for watching our show.